Okay, so I'm no longer his guy. I'm, I'm nobody to him now. We'd say half the people walk away from him, and I don't mean to make this sound bad, no. walk away with a slight injury. Yeah. You would say that? Out of nowhere. We were at the dinner table. She was just walking by. He came up, nipped her hand enough to hurt. I don't think it bruised badly. No. If I'm sitting down somewhere, somebody approaches me. He goes on high alert starts barking at them. This video is going to be about owner obsessed reactivity and how to fix it. This behavior is when the dog just wants to be with his mom and dad. People and dogs are a hindrance to that relationship. Dad is the only one that makes me happy. Mom's the only one that makes me happy. And I just want these people to go about their business. I'm going to lunge and bark at sometimes bite them so that we can do that. It's very specific because it is not aggression. Okay, it is like resource guarding, but it's a little different. It's generally with rescues, and it's generally with older rescues who see the, see the owner as their savior. This guy is here for that. You saw me do the handshake method. That is the first fix, the first thing to this, which is acceptance of the person into your life. I call it the handshake method. You have to do it. The dog doesn't really know what's going on. You just say, hey, accept them into your life. The dog's like, no, I don't feel like it. The other thing is discipline through timely corrections and spatial awareness. That's what you're going to see me do when the guy sits down, when the guy comes back and I give him the leash. You have to let your dog know that you're not the savior, but instead you're a leader, that they are safe, that you are a capable person, that they don't have to protect you, resource guard you, and you're not the only source of happiness in their life. I took this dog because I wanted this guy to walk back into his life and be a different person to him. Oh, don't do it. Goodness gracious. I like that he smelled Prince. He wasn't so into his dad gone that he could not do something else. You're a good boy. You're a sweet boy. This is our friend. This is our friend. Now he's just a little bit of a different dog. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're like, that was an awkward handshake, how Joel did it, like, <laughs> weirdly sideways. I'm going to give you the leash. You're okay. just going to sit with him. Don't pet him. Okay. Just hang with him. Okay. That was good. We got a whole plan, man. First, though, we need to see if he remembers me. Uh, I became his guy. Okay? Right. So first, we need to see if, there's, if he reverts. Okay. Uh, and I'm no longer his guy. Okay? So just hang out. Um... Okay, so I'm no longer his guy. I'm, I'm nobody to him now. That's something we need to, to know for sure. Based on the regression and the little nips to me that told me that friendships are not going to last, which goes along with what this guy said, where someone will be at his house, the dog will be okay with him for a while, and then nip him. Because relationships aren't going to last because this guy, the owner, is the guy in his life. This dog can build other, other relationships when the owner is not around. I told him, I think, don't pet him right there. Um, but it's not going to last. He's still going to nip somebody until he's best friends with them, but it's difficult to be best friends with this dog when the owner's around because the owner is the, his only best friend and he only needs the owner in his life. Hey, it's good to see you again. Don't look at me. Is that your dog? Yeah. What kind of dog is he? Well, he's a great Dane. He's a great Dane. Give him a correction to the left. Too much leaning. Okay. He's leaning towards me. I said, don't watch me because you guys need to be watching your dog's behavior. You need to do this in a controlled situation where you can stare at your dog the whole time while talking to the other person. If, if he looks at me, I want you to give him a tiny correction to the left. Okay. It's just to break his focus okay. without talking. Okay. Oh, it's good to see you again. If he looks at me too long, I want you to give him a tiny correction. I love it. That's what I mean by a tiny correction. Okay. Oh, man. It's so good to see you. It is, it's really good to see you. I got to go. Okay? No, 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 no into dad. Good job. You're doing good. Tell him stay. Stay. Good job. That was good. You're not, you're not letting, you, you're not letting him even get in that frame of mind. Right. You care about me. You don't care about him. You care about him 99.999% of the time when you're at home. When you're around people, we don't care. Right. It's not you and him versus the world. Mm -hmm. when, I, when your friend's here. Okay? That's what he thinks. He thinks it's like me and daddy, and this guy's interrupting my deal with daddy, and you're right now saying, don't, I don't care about you. 
this isn't, I mean, there's some fear in there, but it's like almost like an, an obsession okay, and guard. a cr protection and a resource guard. Okay. And so discipline is the answer to this. The minute you change and then you get discipline-y and you're good at it actually, the minute you do that, this dog goes to a different place. He goes to a place of dad has this under control. That's the place he is. He's not leaning on dad. He's getting tiny little corrections. Dad is acting different. Dad is looking at different. Dad is looking at the people approaching different. And it's having an effect on this dog. Wide berth. Wide berth. Now. Correct. Good job. Correct. Good job. Good job. Um, you can let him look for a second. So he looked at me. He looked at her. Um, any, any getting up is instantly into a down again. Right. He can look at us. Mm -hmm. He can't track her as she's walking over. Does she, she's the nice, nice person in the world. What is, what's she going to do to you guys? Hi, nice to see you. Okay, no more. Okay, we're going to do it again. I don't want you to, now we're going to fade out the correct, that early correction. Okay. We got it. He's, he's, he's responding to them damn near perfectly. So let's get rid of that first one. Okay. Then we're only going to give one if he's ready with the high. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I want him to be. Okay, go. Hi. Good, you did it at the right time. We didn't do it right away, then we did it later. Hey, how are ya? Ah, oh, it's good to see you again. Yeah. He's like a bee. Oh, that's a nice dog. That I don't. That I don't think you should. That was okay. you're the only one you shouldn't have done. He was like switching his hips. I got to get you right on when to do it and when not to do it. That was the only one I've seen that I haven't okay. loved. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice dog. Look at him. Oh, now you're gun shy because I said don't do it. That was good. Dude, you're doing good. It's not an easy thing. When do you do it? When do you not do it? Right? I'm starting to throw my hands in the air, so it's getting a little worse. He's tripped out a little bit. We're getting to a point of like him being a little, a little too tripped out, but it's good. Early corrections and spatial awareness. You cannot let your dog build. It'll look at a person walking up. You got to give it the dog a correction the other way. That's why I kept telling him to switch hands and whatnot. And this guy did a really good job. Don't let him build. Also, don't let your dog lean on you. I told him multiple times, move the dog away from your foot, change your leg. I don't really care about a sit or a down. I don't love the dog in a stand because it is a place where they can just kind of go and get up and go with the person very easily. So a down is better, a sit is better, but a stand is okay as long as you're able to catch them early and give them a correction the other way, a tiny correction, just enough to get them out. The correction is not meant to hurt the dog. The correction is meant to snap them out of something. Well, Joel, why don't I just use a treat to snap them out? Because it doesn't work. It simply does not work. Treats are the opposite of discipline. There are some dogs that need discipline. I would argue most dogs need discipline. Sits, treats are great for sits and downs. Okay. Treats are pretty good for recall. Treats are pretty good for loose leash walking. Treats are not good for biting people. Discipline is good for biting people. The boss is around. Yes, you love me, dog. Yes, I love you, but I'm not messing around. I also love the guy I'm talking to. I, I enjoy this other person's company and you can't tell them to get out of here just because you were a rescue. So you need to accept the new person into your life generally with the handshake method then you apply discipline through early and timely corrections and under and the dog understanding that he needs to be away from you during these situations.